Good afternoon, everybody. I am here at uh, my newest buy and hold remodel. Say hello to the penis cactus. Hi, cactus. That thing's gonna go. So we're coming. I think some of you might have been watching demo cam with Kelly and I a little while ago. And I want to show you how far we've come to help our amazing crew. Oh, just wondering, what are you about parking when you have only this? Uh, I'm staring at the sun. I can't see what I'm pointing at. U-shaped driveway to there. Extra parking. Let's go look at the progress they've made so far. This is amazing. We've started ripping off some of the uh, stuff from the windows here. So maybe some of you saw where it was. Um, never doubt the power of cat pee. This house was a cloying, horrific, just, God, smelled like a litter box had sex with like a trash can and their spawn just inbred for a while. That's what the house smelled like. Usually you take out some of the walls prior to this and the tile and some of that insulation, things will smell better. It didn't. It's now finally smelling better now that we've taken out the bottom panel of drywall. Still need to seal some of the studs. Scrape the ceilings. So where we've come so far, let me back this whole thing up. Back that house up. Right here, if some of you remember, was a closet. Closet's gone. Bye, closet. Let's go into the kitchen. Remember the uh, zigzag Tetris block? I'm like, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, that wall's gone. Bye, wall. In here, oh, yeah. bye. So what we're going to be doing in here, kind of mocking it up using some of the old cabinetry we're actually saving. Kitchen island doing like a 7 by 6 probably, so we have seating for 6. Probably 4 in the front, 2 on the sides. We're going to eschew the formal dining room. And with the kitchen sink here on an island. Boo, 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 boo. Facing out the cleaning area. Then we're going to go slider door here. Bringing some of that out. Putting the master bath expansion in there. Bye door, you're gone. Kind of seal that in, make it more of a traditional carport. Counters go to about Mia. Coming on into the counters. Stove. Stove goes here. Lazy Susan corner. Fridge. And then a little more counter space kind of here. This area we're going to enclose. The original laundry room was this. Whoop, whoop. That was our laundry. We're gonna blow that, we're moving that wall, we're not moving, building that to actually become here. So bigger laundry room, like a, what, a four by something? One, two, three, four, five by five probably. And probably bring a little bit of wall, extra wall here, maybe for a little more fridge space. So your kitchen's gonna go from that little point there, up and in. Also considering doing, along this wall, either a reach-in pantry, because I'm making this whole area essentially a kitchen. Go reach-in pantry here, or shrink down the laundry room a little bit. And I think this makes sense. I would love people's feedback. Take our laundry room only to about here. So you have just enough for like a little foldy room and stuff, and just do more of a reach-in pantry with the extra space. Could be an option. Let's go looking back. Uh, this corner here, just so any of you want to know, get my black light tonight, you'll see more. That is like rotted out the cat pee. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just delicious. We took out the bottom panel of drywall and we're raising the ceilings, so you know, might as well get the most of pee soaked drywall out. All soaked with pee in here. I probably have to replace some of these studs. Such a stud. Back room, same thing. I still need to do the interior of the closet. It's all been gutted though. Putting in, I kind of want to gut this area too on the exterior walls of the house to upgrade at least half the insulation. Here's my light. Still kind of pissy in here. So I'm going to gut that out, at least seal it. I mean, I got to live here. Um, I am excited though about bringing in a better insulation. This, wall it off. So we have a blown out master closet. We're considering opening this wall out a little bit more to have like a bigger wide thing. I don't know if it's too much space to lose. What do people think? Lose this little bit of space to about here and get rid of this wall. Look on this side. Take the wall into about here. 
have like a big opening. So much fiberglass, I don't wanna step on. Here we go. So the door comes like a double wide, kinda. That's what we're thinking. Uh, lights go off. Um, more fresh insulation in here. That area is disgusting, fixing those studs up. Little baby bathroom, you've been gutted. I'm gonna do some work to kind of make this feel a little bit more bigger and roomy using the magic of the camera. That soffit's gonna to go too. Putting in a rain shower in here with like a little front face and spigot. And kind of move things into the kitchen just a little bit because of that dead space in the kitchen. That's the back of my shower. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. So, I mean, the secret to our success perhaps in this one is you, you buy a cat pee house. From everything I've read in like reno blogs, I mean, we've done a couple cat pee houses before. I never thought like my cat pee house. So we're taking a few extra, even bigger steps because you can probably cheap out on fixing cat pee. We're not. Like those walls here, I need to open this up probably still too. And it's going to be great. Well, um, yeah, buy, sell, and invest. Lauren Rosen team, all that fun stuff. If you want to keep following this project, keep following me, I guess. Or call me. If you any questions, 480-447-1574. It's Parker, Lauren Rosen team. Everyone have a great afternoon.